Hello, my name is Lindsay Corson and I wanted to add my support to the One Voice campaign. I've been a freelance actor for well over 30 years and I've been very lucky and fortunate to survive in, in this profession. I think it takes courage and resilience to be a freelance worker. And although, as I said, for many of us it is our, our passion, we also do need to earn a living. And most freelance workers live from one paycheck to the next. The arts for me has always been about how we can affect change, um, challenge perceptions, and, and of course, entertainment. But it's not just about the big theatres or, or being on television and, and, and film. You know, the arts breathes life into our communities and helps us make sense of the world. You know, identifying with other people's lives through stories and music is, is so important. You know, for so many of our communities, it's a lifeline. Community choirs, the amateur dramatic societies, the small-scale touring theatres, so the vital work done by community outreach work for intervulnerable group groups. And there's, there's so many people that are involved in all of this, from the cleaner to the box office to the you know, people selling the ice creams. Everybody is, is, is a freelancer. You know, I've, I've seen and I've been lucky to see firsthand how, how music and drama has changed lives as I've worked across so many different parts of, of this sector. Of course, like everybody else, I welcome the news that the government is going to put a lot of money into, you know, looking after our big buildings and, and, and huge cultural um, institutions. That's really important. But let's make sure that we safeguard, you know, thousands of freelance jobs in this industry. 70% of people working in this industry, like me, are self-employed. And we have to make sure that those jobs don't just disappear. You know, they are, they are I think, so vital to the, the well-being of us as a nation, and we mustn't forget that. I think also if so many are not able to do that job, they will be forced to have to leave that sector. And I think, I think I'm not sure they'll ever be able to get back again. And that would be such a, a such a horrendous thought, um, you know, so many people's livelihoods. So, as I said, this money is, we're very grateful for, but let's share this money out. Let's make sure that everybody gets a little bit of, of the pot. Um, we continue, we can continue to make the arts work for all of us and, you know, and for future generations. Thank you.